Hi, and welcome to the Pecan Planner video tutorial for HDRI light and panoramic backgrounds with OSP Ray. First, we're going to take a look at what HDR actually is and how we can use it for planning. Then, we'll look specifically at rendering with OSP Ray in Pecan Planner. Here, we'll learn how to set panoramas as backgrounds, as well as how HDR images can be used as light sources to create atmospheric renderings. HDR or HDRI refers to high dynamic range images. These images contain a higher brightness dynamic which creates a more intense and realistic lighting effect. Normally, such a high contrast image would be reached by combining various exposure levels with the same scene. With the help of this technology, it's possible to view the elements of your plan in actual lighting conditions. As a planner, you can then create particularly realistic and aesthetic settings placing your renderings in the right light, so to speak. It's all possible since the HDR format not only saves the image, but the light scene as well. And Pecan Planner can read this, thanks to OSP Ray. Let's first begin with an appealing panoramic background before adding any lighting scene. Although, keep in mind that the best case scenario would be to combine panoramas and HDR light. Start by going to the Presentation tab and selecting Image. Make sure to check that you've selected the viewport that you want to render. In the section Renderer, select OSP Ray. By clicking on the pencil icon, we can then specify particular options. Under Background, we can select Panorama from the list and upload an appropriate image. What's important here is that you use a spherical panoramic image, as normal images or smartphone panoramas will end up distorted. In addition, the panorama should be of the highest possible resolution to ensure a high quality result. In order to perfectly position the plan, we'll need to use the top view. Imagine the panorama as a circular band that's wrapping around the plan. North can be found at the center of the view. Since the panorama will remain fixed in its position, we'll need to move the plan instead. To do so, select the entire plan, including cameras, by pressing Ctrl A on your keyboard. We can then use the Rotate tool, found under the Edit tab, to set the desired orientation for our plan. We recommend testing the final position with a few low-resolution renderings to do a little fine-tuning. Even the slightest angle change can make a world of difference and completely change the effect of the background. Now let's give our plan the right lighting mood for the selected background. With HDR panorama packages, the HDR files are usually directly integrated. Of course, it also works to use another visually similar HDR file. In the render options, we can activate the HDR light mode and can then upload a file. Pecan Planner works with HDR, EXR, and REV files. To best feature the HDR light, we suggest to minimize the ambient light. This can be done in the Room Elements section under the Start tab. Activating the sunlight in the render settings is also recommended. The azimuth value is shown similar to the orientation of the panorama, with 0 degrees being north, 90 degrees east, and so on. Altitude shows the angle of incidence, with 0 degrees as sunrise and 90 degrees for midday. The best method is to set the sunlight to match the HDR light being used. This will create the best synergy. Lastly, we can adjust the intensity of the HDR light. The default value 1 subtly shows the implemented light. If you're looking to achieve a more pronounced intensity, values up to 6 are available. It's best to play around to see what best fits with your plan. Now it's your turn to work with HDR light and panoramas in Pecan Planner, or you can take a look at some of our other basic tutorials or videos on more specific functions and tricks. Have fun planning and experimenting!